and I'm going to apologize right now, but I always forget to flip the freaking camera. Uh, like I always have it, you know, my videos always come up like small because I always forget to flip my camera sideways. <laughs> and then I feel terrible because it's just like this small little picture of all my videos. I'm sorry. But okay, the video is going to start in three, two, one. Well, hello, everybody. <laughs> okay, that's the worst intro ever. Well, hello, everybody. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna stop interfering with the video. <laughs> My bad. And yeah, I'm gonna warn you guys I'm not the best, like, person to choose words. And I sound like I'm thinking constantly because I am. But I hope you guys like it. So, I don't know. I'm here in my feels. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. I don't know if you consider this a random thought or just emotion. I don't know. But basically, just the way I'm feeling, I feel so empty. Okay. I might be a bit depressed. <laughs> I'm obviously watching it as I'm editing and I'm laughing at myself. So empty, but not sad. But like, I mean, I don't know. I'm sure there's people out there who totally understand how I'm feeling. Um, I'm not depressed. I'm not yeah, sad. I just feel numb and empty about everything. But I mean, everybody goes through things like this. And it's always possible to... You know, get out of these things. God, it looks like my eyes are watery. I'm really not crying. <laughs> they really do look like they're watery, though. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I guess my question is, how do people get themselves out of feeling that way? You know, like, I try to be positive, you know, all the time. It's easy for me to give advice than to take advice for myself, from me, you know, if that made sense. But, I don't know. But I'm sure, you know, we only see people's true, well, not true colors, but we only see people's outer masks every day of our lives. And if you really think about it, when you see and talk to somebody who is very positive and happy... Like, they are the people you want to be like. You know, you question yourself. You know, like, why can't I be that way? What do I got to do? Or what's wrong with my life? But it's like... They're just like you. Right? They just... They're just like you. You get up every morning. You get ready. You have this certain persona when you're out, you know, of your home, like, you just feel more confident. I don't know if it's because you're pressured to, and by pressured, I mean, you know, you have to go to work to provide for your lifestyle or whatever, you know? And it's like, why do we do that? Why do we pretend yeah, I can't remember where I was going with it. Um, the reason why I believe we do that. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me. Why are we afraid to just... Well, maybe not even afraid, but like... Why do we feel the need to have to be somebody else that's more chirpy and happy in front of other people. Oh, I remember where I was going with it. I was going to say that the reason why we end up feeling numb to me is because 
we watch all these people be happy and confident and then we hope to have the same you know the same personality the same happiness we get jealous and then you know we try and be that way too like have you like think about it you can't tell me I'm not the only person in the world who has sat there and noticed how much of a good person somebody is and how they just get along with people so great like strangers even and they just talk to him like nothing and everything and it's kind of like why sorry I read a message and it distracted me but it's like you can't tell me I'm the only person that does that or has done that you know maybe I'm just depressed I don't know I you know I'm pretty sure I have depression but it's like I don't know you can't tell me I'm the only person who does that who's watched somebody just do all that like nothing like it's so easy but it's so hard at the same time for me it's just difficult you know to just be able to go up to people I mean like old 15 16 year old me no problem I was a wild fucking kid but nowadays it's like you learn what society says is respectful and normal you know and I don't know I've always been the type to be like I'm not gonna follow what everybody else thinks you know I want to have that mindset of you know being able to think differently than other people but yeah people like that they just freaking surprise me (laughs) like what wish I could do that, you know, but I have anxiety, so I'm very, like, ooh, ooh, hi. But, yeah, like, like I said, you can't tell me that I'm the only one who has felt sad about not being that way, or, like, asking my own self what is wrong with me for being that way. And, yeah, I've had a lot of childhood trauma in my life, um... But, like, how do people... I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. But anyways, I feel like that makes you feel like that's how you have to be out in public. Because you see people like that. And you want to be like that. But then you get home, you feel numb and sad and depressed. And you don't know what to do. You know? But it's normal at the same time. And people forget that that is normal. So you basically beat yourself up for no reason. Because it's a normal thing. Hmm. I don't know if that's how I want to leave it for myself. If that's like... Oh, oh god, the lighting got terrible. I don't know if that's how I want it to, you know, um, ease my mind. You know? I feel like there's more to it. But that's all I can really think about why I feel numb at the end of the day, you know, after work or being around people like even with my friends like I'm I don't know I isolate myself sometimes I I like back out of things and I feel bad but like most of the time stuff comes up you know but I have done it before where I'm just physically and mentally cannot go out in the world and it is so messed up because people probably see and think of me as a totally different person because of who I am at my job but like at the same time it's still me I I'm getting my head trapped you guys (laughs) I'm getting myself like confused but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I would really love 
to hear. What I'm trying to say is just let me know what you guys believe it could be that makes you feel numb inside and just no emotions. There's endless possibilities for, you know, possible answers for such things. And, you know, psychologists, yeah, they probably know the answer in a heartbeat. But this chick is not one. And I'm just curious. I just want to know. Thank you for watching and listening to me rant and think as hard as I can about why I'm feeling a certain way. And trying to come up with a solution. All right. Bye. I know listening to me is very, very difficult. <laughs> but I just wanted to put one more thing in there. Um, it was just like when I was talking about how when you just can't even go out in the world and all that. But it also gets to a, a point to where you're just sitting at home in the dark. <laughs> like, so sad. And it's comfortable. That's what's weird about it. Other people would think, okay, that's odd. But to me, it's comfortable. And then I get sad. <laughs> like, then I cry for a little bit. Hmm. But I, yet again, I'm such a, like, a happy person at the same time. I just, I don't know what it is. But that's what the numbness does to me. Like... Like, is this like a, like, am I crazy? Who knows? Who knows? I'm not crazy, you guys. I swear, I'm pretty normal. I just, yeah, that numb feeling really, it bugs me. And that's why I just want to know what you guys think it is. If you guys have experiences, tell me your, you know, your personal experiences. I just, I would love to hear, you know, how much you guys can relate. Just so... You know, and I want you guys to know that, like, you're not the only one if you go exactly, like, through the same things that I do. You're not alone, you know. But, okay, now I'm leaving for good. Goodbye, and I love you, and I'll see you again.